Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode, powered by Hayabusa, is all about how to fight backwards. More specifically, how did Sugar Sean O'Malley step back to get that big knock? All right, in today's episode, we're talking about how to fight moving backwards, and we're gonna give reference to which of the different ways you can do it, and how Sugar Sean O'Malley set up his big finish. So, let's talk about moving and fighting backwards. I do feel this is one thing that a lot of fighters don't do. Everything on pad work, a lot of times in drills, is all moving forward, attacking, but the ability to fight moving backwards is so important. We've seen some of the greatest knockouts happen in this type of way. If someone's moving back, you catch them coming in. I can give you a thousand different examples in fight sports. Conor McGregor doing it very well against Jose Aldo. We've seen Dustin Jacoby recently, Sugar Sean O'Malley. When it comes to small gloves especially, it doesn't take a big power shot. As soon as someone comes in, as you touch them, you can get the big knockout. So I'm gonna give you three different ways you can backstep, okay, and, and attack. Now, there's different pros and cons to each. So I'm gonna talk about more of a calculated step back, okay? So you have your traditional draw step, which is boom, back step pulls, right? So I'm not even gonna count this as one, but this is one. So even if we come here and Diego takes a back step and jabs at the same time, so boom, right? Simple, right? Same concept if he goes moving backwards. Back step hits, back step, right? This is the simplest way to get there, all right? So using the back step, Okay, and I can jab at the same time. So you're putting a strike as someone's coming forward. So this is a nice one because say I get Diego to throw a hard one too, and then I come backwards and he hits. He hits backwards, he hits me moving backwards. So you can move forward and backwards with these calculated steps. Now the first one I'm gonna talk about is stepping with each strike, okay? One, two, three. This is my favorite way, okay? So we go one, two, three. It's fast and it's easy, okay? So from this stance, I usually do a quick jab here because I want to get out of way here, and then I put emphasis on this hand, and then I pull this leg for my hook, okay? So it comes together, boom, 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 right? And it's quick. Even if I jump fast at Diego, look what he can do. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, yeah, see, he catches me coming in. No matter how fast I come, his footwork is good. I, the worst thing you want to do in fighting backwards is starting to do this and be on your heels. This is why the small calculated steps. Look, one, two, three. He's in good position to attack with each step. Okay, it's a little bit slower even though it looks fast, but it's, it's another option. Now, the second option, I'm going to save the Sugar Sean O'Malley for number three. Number two, okay, is just a traditional back step. There's a lot of times, whether I'm, I'm low kicking you or I'm trying to shoot for the single leg, you want to remove that leg. So this is what I call my full back step. One and two, okay? Now, if you're someone who can fight in southpaw, you're only going to step back once. Boom, okay? If you want to go back to your traditional stance, you take a double back step. One, two, now you're in orthodox, okay? So, Right away, I go to shoot, it goes one, two, bang, right? He's creating space with his feet. One, two, bang, and hit from here, okay? So we can go one, two, boom, walk me into a strike, okay? So that's going to be being able to move further distance back. It's not, very, it's not made to be able to really strike, but you can, right? What we can do, even on that transition, maybe Diego throws a hook on the back step, right? Boom and comes back and attacks moving this way. So he can hit me coming back. So let's say a hook first, boom, uppercut on the second one, right hand. Boom, right, so let's do that one again. So he switches here, boom, uppercut, right hand. Right? He's hitting me as he's moving back and still being able to put a punch in the way, okay? So that's using your back step. Now the third is what we're gonna call the Sean O'Malley. And this is gonna be using a gallop. And this is my personal favorite way of doing it because it's nice and quick. Now with a gallop, you're not stepping, you're replacing the front foot replaces the back foot. So this is a gallop. I can gallop moving forward and Diego backwards. Diego comes the other way. You can see my feet are all bouncing on the balls of my feet and it's quick because you can react. Instead of doing the hard step where you're having to sit and kind of dig your feet in the ground, this allows you to move quicker, okay? So even if I move to Diego, look, he just bounces here, he comes forward. I'm able to bounce and stay nice and long, right? Boom. 
once we get this. So this is one of the best ways to use distance management, right? You can move, you can angle. See, I even move fast. Diego's gonna gallop and then move, right? Here, I gallops and then circles out, boom, gets away, right? And we could also mix and match, right? So for example, Diego might be here, he might gallop into a back step. So he gallops into a back step. Right, so he ha we have a system to be able to attack moving backwards. Now, with the gallop, it's beautiful because you can gallop and find that rear hand, and this is why we call it the Sugar Shano Mallet. So, we're gonna come in, Diego, gallop, gallop, boom, and we find that shot, okay? So one more time, he gallops back, and he hits, boom, coming in to that gallop. Right, so we gallop, we gallop, and then we find that position here. Boom! and we find that big shot knockout, okay? So quick little review. You have different ways to step and fight moving backwards. The sugar shot is just one of the options. You have the calculated back draw, right? So we draw, we can just pop here, pop here, pop here. Okay, one more time, I'll come in, jab, cross, up. One, two, three, calculated step. We can back step and open the door, boom, bang, boom. And last but not least, we can use that gallop step here. Shaboom! To walk my opponent in, draw them in, okay? So I want you to make sure you practice all of them. And you don't always have to do one or the other. Mixing them, right? One of my favorites is always to gallop before I back step, right? I might gallop into a one, two, three, right? So quick gallop and then a boom, boom, boom. You can gallop into a back step, gallop into a switch. It's some of the best ways to get out of what I call quicksand. Small gloves, distance management is important. Having these options is very important, okay? Make sure you keep liking and subscribing and sharing Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA, and make sure you support the channel by supporting our sponsors. Let's start with Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, linked in the description below. We have Perfect Sports Nutrition. Use code Bazooka20 to get all your different supplements. And last but not least, bazookatraining.com, online curriculum taught by me, where we have home workouts, bag workouts, sparring drills, tutorials, and every week you get some brand new videos for less than $10 a month, okay? So sign up and Share it with your friends, all right? We'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.